Okay, so first are the one the ingredients that um, came in the box. So we have one second. Okay, uh, so we have uh, this is about four cups. Everyone got four cups of Rice Krispie treats. Um, a tub, seven ounces of marshmallow fluff, um, and then some green chocolate melt and some yellow chocolate. And then um, and then as a black bag, you guys also got some sp sprinkles and uh, chocolate chips, mini chocolate chips. And then everyone um, will get one sphere mold. Mine has six in it, but everyone else has one. You guys should all have one. And um, I also, it should be a crescent um, with some parchment paper. And that's what you have in your box. And then other things you should, I want you to be, make sure you guys have four tablespoons of butter and uh, some parchment paper or a nonstick mat will work. Um, if we're working with chocolate, sometimes that's easier to use. Um, an eight by eight pan, uh, you can use either, and then you can line it with either aluminum foil or parchment paper. That's just so that um, it's easy, so that the Rice Krispie doesn't stick to the pan. Uh, we need a microwave, a refrigerator, and some scissors, and a knife or a cookie cutter, a square cookie cutter if you have one. If not, a knife will be okay. And um, some microwave safe bowls, okay? Um, okay. So um, is everyone doing okay? Okay. Okay. So first, we're going to uh, start by making the um, melting the green chocolate melt. Um, I want everyone to take out one piece of chocolate melt. Um, we're going to uh, leave it on the side. Uh, we don't want to melt this. Um, we'll use it later. I'll show you what to do with it later. So leave one. You can leave two just in case. Um, leave, save one or two on the side, and then also save uh, one or two of the yellow chocolate melts. Okay. Okay. So with the rest of the uh, green chocolate melt, I want you to melt it. So you can use your microwave. Um, so microwave have um, a chocolate melt, um, chocolate melt uh, option, or you can just do 30 seconds at a time. Make sure you watch your chocolate. You don't want it to uh, burn, okay? Uh, this is all you guys have. So you're gonna try not to burn it the first time. Okay, so go ahead and put it in the microwave and um, th uh, melt your chocolate 30 seconds at a time, mix it, then melt it, chuck it, um, mix it and uh, 30 seconds in the microwave again until it's melted completely. Okay, so what we're going to be doing with the green one uh, while the chocolate melts, I can just tell you, we're going to coat, uh, put, you're going to have to put two layers of chocolate on the sphere. So we're going to coat, coat the sphere one time. I'll show you how to do that. And then um, let me just move everything out of the way. And then, um, so the sphere will be the dome of the mushroom. Okay, so. Okay. So my chocolate is almost melted. You want it to be no chunks. So you can mix it, make sure there's no chunks, everything melts. I'm just gonna heat it for another few seconds. Once everyone's chocolate is melted, we're gonna pour some of the chocolate in the sphere and you wanna coat um, 
the whole sphere, okay? Um, if for some reason your chocolate is chunky, um, you can put a little bit of like coconut oil or vegetable oil and that should thin out the chocolate. You would just need like um, a few drops. Okay, so this is how the chocolate looks all melted. Okay, so you can take a spoon or a spatula and you're just going to coat. Here, let me coat the inside of the dome as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're gonna do two coats. So if it doesn't, if you don't get it the first time, you'll get it the second time. Um, your spheres should fit in your hands. It might be easier to do, but here's the inside of my, sorry, sphere. So I'm gonna put this in, you can put it in the freezer or the fridge um, to, uh, so that it can dry faster and become a shell faster. Um, just make sure when you place it in the fridge, you don't, push too hard, um, otherwise it won't be a sphere. It might become flat from the top. You can put a plate underneath to make it easier to transfer to the fridge, okay? Um, so the next step is we're gonna be taking the marshmallow cream um, that you guys all have like a jar of, and we're gonna put it into a, um, a microwave safe bowl, okay? I'll open it, it's a little sticky. Okay, you can use a spatula or a spoon to just scoop all of the marshmallow fluff into the bowl. It's very sticky. So just get as much as you can out. Okay, so it's very sticky, so just do as best as you can. Um, so I have the marshmallow puff. Uh, cream, and I'm gonna put four tablespoons of butter in. We're gonna microwave it the same thing, same how we did the chocolate, just like 30 minutes at a time. We just need it to be a little melty, the butter to melt all the way, and the uh, marshmallow fluff to be soft enough so that we can mix everything together, okay? So I'm gonna microwave it 30 seconds at a time. Uh, while you're waiting for it to melt, um, you can get line your eight by eight pan with parchment paper or aluminum foil. Um, just using aluminum foil. We're just doing this so that it doesn't stick to the side of the pan. And then it's easier to deal with. So I just lined my eight by eight with um, aluminum foil. Okay, and once we get the, so this is ready for when the, Rice crispy is ready to pour. Okay, so it looks like mostly it's melted, um, my butter. So I'm just gonna mix it. So you can actually do this with marshmallows too, halal marshmallows if you had them. Um, the same recipe. And you can melt uh, the marshmallows in a pan too. I'm just doing it in microwave because it's easier today. Okay, so it should become like this. You don't want to overheat it because then it just takes longer to form into a Rice Krispie treat. So as soon as the butter is melted, just take it out of the microwave and mix the marshmallow fluff and the butter together, okay? So it's gonna look like this, it's the liquidy. And then once uh, you've mixed it in, you wanna dump all of your Rice Krispie treats 
Your, that's four, about four cups. I gave you guys four cups and you're just gonna mix it. Make sure you mix as well as you can. You wanna coat um, as much as the Rice Krispie Treat with the marshmallow fluff butter mixture. Hopefully everyone's done mixing or close to this stage. Okay. Once you're done, um, we're gonna pour it into this eight by eight pan. Okay. So this is how it's gonna look once it's mixed. Um, should look like it at all the rice crispy treats kind of look wet or like they're coated with the marshmallow fluff, okay? Okay, um, and now we're just gonna pour it into the eight by eight pan. And as you're pouring, you can push down with your spatula or spoon, just push down on the Rice Krispies so that it's all sticking together. Okay. So um, you're gonna have a lot of Rice Krispie Treat left uh, extra, just so you know. Um, you can play with it or make a lot of masjids afterwards if you want. Okay, so I'm just pushing down the Rice Krispie Treats, trying to make it as even as possible with my spatula. Okay. That looks good. So this is how mine looks. It's like a big square. So um, after you put it in the pan, um, we want this to cool down so that it hardens and it's easier to work with. So uh, you can put it in the um, refrigerator or freezer. Freezer, is where, um, it'll be faster, um, cool down faster. So uh, wherever you have space, go ahead and put it in. Okay, um, so I just grabbed my, the mold out of, my mold out of the fr freezer and you can see that, I don't know if you can, you, once you take yours out, yours should be hard now. There shouldn't be any melty chocolate in there. Um, so this is how mine looks. Um, so we're gonna grab our chocolate um, that we had melted before. If yours is not melt, is getting hard or not melt, um, you can, heat it up in the microwave for a few seconds so it's easier to work with. I'm just going to heat mine up for a few seconds right now. So uh, you can either use a spoon or a brush and you, um, you might not have a brush but I find using a brush much easier to coat. Uh, if not you can use a spoon so this is how I usually do it with a brush. Just go around and brush the insides of the dome. So you can see um, because the dome is cold, this layer will also dry faster. But make sure you get a uh, chocolate layer around the edges so that it doesn't break as easily when you pop it out. Okay, and this is how you would use a spoon. Same thing, just coat as best as you can. This 
So I'm gonna put this back in the uh, freezer for a few more uh, minutes so that, um, that it can harden, okay? Okay, so uh, while the chocolate and the Rice Krispie Treat are getting, um, are getting uh, hardened in the fridge, I want everyone to, um, so I gave everyone one mold, uh, sorry, stencil of a um, crescent. Go ahead and grab that. I believe I gave a crescent and then a, a, a parchment paper, a piece of parchment paper and a paper clip. So I don't have a paper clip, um, but I'm going to just join together so that's easier to deal with. You can also, um, if this keeps rolling, you can tape your parchment paper. So what we want is we want the stencil and then the parchment paper, and then lay it down onto a mat or um, a mat or a table. You can tape it down if that's easier for you so it doesn't move, okay? So what we're going to be drawing on is the parchment paper, not the paper, not the stencil, the parchment paper, okay? So everyone has is a black bag with a, a yellow chocolate. Uh, like I said, remember to save two pieces. We're saving two pieces of white chocolate, sorry, two pieces of yellow chocolate and two pieces of green chocolate. Okay, and the, the rest of the chocolate, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt it in the Ziploc bag. Uh, you can melt it in a bowl or you can melt it in Ziploc bag. Just make sure that when you're melting it in the Ziploc bag that you watch it, you don't want it to, uh, the chocolate to burn or um, to make a hole in the Ziploc bag, okay? So what we're gonna do is melt the chocolate and um, then and then we're gonna cut the tip off and then pipette as best as you can onto the crescent um, and make a crescent move, okay? So right now, like I said, I'm just gonna melt the chocolate in the Ziploc bag, okay? Yeah, so I basically just did two rounds of 30 seconds and it's pretty melty. Um, you can squish it around in the bag to make sure everything's mixed and there's no lumps. And then make sure you Ziploc your bag, close your bag so that none comes out from the top. Okay. So once um, it's melted and you brought it, the chocolate to one corner, you're gonna take some scissors and just cut, cut a small um, a small hole basically. You're just gonna cut across and it'll make like a small hole. It's better to start off cutting a small so that, and then if it, then you can always cut a bigger hole if you need to. So then you can press, see this is too small. So I'm gonna make the hole a little bigger. Okay. Okay, so that should be easier for me to deal with. Um, and then you just take um, the bag and trace your crescent as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always use like a toothpick if you want to fix the edges. So what I do is I just line the uh, stencil, the crescent, and then I fill in the inside. And you want to make sure that the, the moon is thick enough so that once it dries, it's not gonna just fall in, uh, apart in your hands. Okay. You can even um, take the stencil and try to tap it. Zaya? 
Yeah. So this is how mine looks. Okay. Yeah. So this is how my crescent moon looks. Um, you can put it this also. Uh, you can put this in the fridge now so that it cools down faster. You can put it on a plate. And then um, while you're there, take out um, your mold and your Rice Krispie treat. You can bring them out. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fill the dome, okay? So this is where you can use your sprinkles or chocolate chips um, and just put some into, you don't have to use that whole bag, it's probably too much, um, but you can put about one, half a tablespoon or tablespoon of sprinkles or chocolate chips okay so i put about half a tablespoon or half a tablespoon in my dome okay uh, next we're going to put the rice krispie treat in so what uh, works best is just taking the parchment paper. Um, so if you look at your Rice Krispie Treat um, or feel it, it should be pretty hard now compared to how it was when you put it into the, or you put it in to the freezer or fridge. Um, so we're just gonna grab the parchment paper, aluminum foil paper and take the whole Rice Krispie Treat out of the pan. And we're just going to take down the sides to work with. So it should be a big giant square like this. Okay. Okay. So first what we're gonna do is take um, you can use a knife or you can just um, break off a chunk with your hands. I'm just gonna cut it a little like a small square like this. And we're going to, um, it should break kind of mush in your hands and um, try to stuff it and stuff your dome with a Rice Krispie treat. Okay. Like this. Um, so make sure when you're, you're not, you don't overstuff it because you don't want the dome to break. Um, just stuff it enough so that it, you want, we're gonna coat the top with chocolate. Make sure you leave room for, make sure you leave room for um, a layer of chocolate basically. So that's how mine looks. So if you don't have that much cho uh, chocolate left, that's okay. Um, the green chocolate, um, you can just leave it open, whoops. But I'm going to cover mine with a layer of chocolate, okay? So everyone should have enough chocolate left over. But if not, that's okay. Uh, you can melt it a little more if you want. I'm just gonna melt it 15 seconds to make it easier to work with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a layer on top to basically coat the Rice Krispie and to make sure it stays in, okay? Okay, like that. And if there's like extra chocolate that's smeared, you can just use a spatula to clean it up a little or your finger. Just make sure you don't burn yourself with the chocolate. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is how mine looked. You're just covering it up so that uh, whatever you put in the dome doesn't fall out. Okay. 
And uh, you can put this in the refrigerator or freezer once again so that the chocolate hardens faster. Okay, um, so once you guys have put uh, the domes back into the fridge, we're going to cut a square out of um, the Rice Krispie Treat. That's gonna be the bottom of the masjid, okay? The base of the masjid. So like I said, you can use a knife um, to cut a square or um, I'm just gonna use a square cookie cutter. If you have one of those, you can also make it a rectangle one if you want, or even a circle. That'll just be the base of the masjid, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and push my cookie cutter down. Okay, and then scoot it out. That. Okay. So hopefully you're past this. And then the next thing will be to cut out the, um, the minaret. So for that, let me just put these on the side. Uh, just cut the, out a uh, long rectangle piece. Uh, that you probably want it to be about six inches long. It's going to cut a rectangular piece like this. So it looks like a minaret. You can squish it a little and shape it if you like. So that it should be able to stand next to the masjid. Okay, and then you're gonna have a bunch of Rice Krispie Treats left over. You guys can have it <laughs> later to eat. Okay, so here's my square. And here's just like a rectangular piece I cut out. It's easier to work with when they're um, a little hardened. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna pop out the, so carefully pop out the, um, the sphere. So this will be the dome, okay. Okay, this is how mine turned out. So you might have some rough edges, uh, which you can always clean up. Um, if you wanted to, just by using your fingers, uh, the heat and just rubbing it, uh, rubbing the chocolate back and forth, and it will, it should um, clean up the edges like that. Okay, so it looks like a shiny dome, okay? So we're gonna put the pieces together. So what I use is, um, you can either use the yellow chocolate or the green chocolate, whatever you have. So you might have to remelt uh, some of the chocolate. I'm gonna just melt the yellow chocolate. Okay, and the chocolate is melted. And remember those two Are pieces. Are supposed to make two crescents? No, sorry, you can make, you just need one. You just need one. Okay. Uh, remember those two pieces I told you to save at the beginning? We just need one dome. We're gonna put that on top and then uh, we're gonna put one for the door, okay? Like that. So we need to put that together. So we're gonna use chocolate. So first I'm going to use some of the chocolate I have, the yellow chocolate. It's, it's melty. Okay, you can just squirt a big glob onto the base of the square in the center, and then you just stick your yellow um, circle, which will be the door. Okay. 
Um, it should take a little bit to dry. So just stick it on there, but it'll stay on there. And then next, I'm going to put the minaret, attach it to the base. So I'm just going to put a bunch of chocolate on the side and just stick it to the base. Okay. So once it dries, it shouldn't move. I'm going to melt my chocolate a little more. Be right back. Chocolate. The next step will be to attach the dome and um, this part to the minarets. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna squirt a bunch of the chocolate on the base of the dome, the bottom of the dome, just like that. And you're just gonna push it onto the base and it should stick after the chocolate um, dries. If your dome is a little wet or has some condensation on it, um, you can um, pat, tap it dry with a paper towel. Okay, so this is one of my cho um, green chocolate pieces I had mentioned to save. I'm um, just gonna turn it to the bottom and put some chocolate on it like that and put it right on top of the minaret. Look. So the last part is the tricky part. Um, is to attach the um, crescent. We're gonna try to attach it to the dome right here, okay? And so what we're gonna do is take um, some of the yellow chocolate yellow or green, and just put a dot on top of the dome, a very small dot, okay? Um, you can have it cool down a little on the dome. Um, you can wait a few seconds, like 10, 15 seconds. And then you take your crescent and just place it on top of that um, dot. Uh, you're gonna have to hold your don't, uh, crescent there for a, probably a little bit until the chocolate dries. So like I have to hold it for like probably 15 seconds. And now you just don't move anything and hopefully it will um, dry in place. <laughs> 